Hey guys, SCL3618 here. This evening we'll be checking out something pretty cool and new for me. We're going to be looking at the Revel of Germany Union Pacific Big Boy Locomotive Kit. Now, I've seen a couple videos on YouTube and most of them were kind of picture slideshows and music in the background. We're just going to try to go all out review on this. I'll give you my personal opinions on the assembly process, uh, the finished model, and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Alright, first things first, let's check out the box. Now, I would like to point out this kit is a couple years old, so it's not like brand new out of the factory or anything. Uh, it's been around the block a couple times, but this thankfully was new in box. Got off Amazon, a uh, good source if you can't find it in a hobby shop or wherever you get your kits from. And trust Amazon a little bit more than eBay. Anyways, let's get to it. First things first, you'll notice it's a nice Union Pacific Gray. You see the Revel logo, top left, 187 scale, equaling HO. And I have a very nice illustration of 4006. On there, and check out the side of it. Same thing, this is skill level 3, meaning paint and glue are required. Let's go check out the back. This actually is pretty cool. I would, I'd actually love to have most of these models in operating form and HO scale, but hey, even just kits would be great. You can see, I got a couple other models. Got a BR50, a diesel, Hudson, a BR43, and the BR41. Those are all heavy freight slash express engines there. All right. And they have a little advert for their paints and whatnot at the bottom. And, of course, we're not in this for the selling prop part. We're in it for the reviewing. So, let's get to the model itself. All right, now that we've got the locomotive off the track and onto the bench, we can check out the details a bit better. Here, I'll hold it up. And, trust me, it's pretty nice to say I've got an HO scale articulated, light as a freight car. <laughs> but, we'll go from the front back. And I'll focus the camera in to get a little better view. I did paint the smoke box. Left the stack clear because I wasn't sure if I wanted to mess with it or not. Uh, side rods all painted, added uh, white walls to the drivers, more so aluminum in this case. You see the pony truck there is nice and loose. Let's go on down the side, engineer side. Valve gear, missed a little spot of paint right there. It's alright, firebox is good. I'm going to check out the cab. The decal that came with it was correct, I must say. And we'll go inside the cab for a second and um, show you some of the cooler details I did in there. The boiler back head, you can't really see it. Some of the um, some of the valves, well, just little pegs in this case, are silver, a couple of red. The butterfly firebox doors are silver. I meant to add some red dots on them just to simulate the firebox holes, but never did. It's all right. Now we'll go on to this side. You can kind of see the independent and air brake valves there. All right. Other than that, that's the locomotive. Very nice, I must say. Didn't take me too long to assemble this fella. Probably at least an hour or two. Painting and the... Uh, Dry rod assembly took the longest. Now, this was probably the quickest aspect of the entire project of tender. As in, you had one, two, probably three or four parts plus wheels to install. And 30 minutes to complete this, including decals. I'll give you a nice look at it. It's just your standard UP um, centipede style. Oops, that's one problem you're going to have to watch out for. Um, honestly, I wish they had did a little bit better job of securing the wheels. There was a plate or something you could put over it where it could roll freely. I may have to glue these down, I may not, we'll see. But overall, detail's very nice. I mean, it's kind of like River Rossi, it's not going to be, like I said, not Atherin, but more so lower end, but still it's a big boy, and if you don't have one like me and don't feel like paying 500 bucks, this is good. 20 bucks and you get a really nice conversation piece. You'll see, both sides decal properly. And that's it for the tender. Alright, we'll give you an idea of the size, we'll put it on the track and see what it looks like. Alright, now that we've got them back on the tracks, we're going to do a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison with my largest locomotive in my fleet currently, operable that is, my NNB Class A. And we're going to go for a final verdict on the true value of the kit. So, let's get to rolling. Alright then, for the side-by-side -side comparison, here we go. First things first, we got our Class A on the left, and for those who do not know, this is our articulated locomotive, a 2664 wheel arrangement. The big boy is a 4884, being 4 lead wheels, 8 drive wheels, another 8 drive wheels, and 4 back uh, trailing wheels. So, enough on that, let's get to it. Uh, detail, very good. We're going to do a bit of a close-up here. One thing I'd like to point out for those who just get the kit, it will un come unpainted. But you're going to have to paint your side rods however you want them. I recommend using Tester's paint. Revel has their own stuff, I know, but um, Tester's is a little bit readily fine. You can go to a Michael's Craft Store or wherever else and find your paints. I used a flat steel for the smoke box, fire box, and the uh, rims on the drivers and uh, lead wheels and I use more so of a shinier steel slash aluminum on the side rods and I think it does look better that way 
gives you a nice contrast and makes the locomotive look a bit shinier. Okay, before I wrap this review up formally, uh, there's two notes on customization I left off. First things first being numbering. Uh, when you finish the kit, you get two choices. That is 4006 and 4023. They both come on this decal sheet here. You can see what else is left. Uh, the number boards, the tenders, markings. I need to apply the number boards shortly. Two UP shields and some miscellaneous numbers. That all being said, there's one more option. And some of you recognize this off the bat. Uh, for those who do not know, there is a Japanese anime out there called Galaxy Railways. And one of the featured locomotives is a Union Pacific Big Boy. In the form of Space Defense Force 8001 Big One. And... I am very pleased to say Big One is, well, a dead lookalike for this kid, of course. I mean, the Season 1 is pretty much a UP Big Boy. The only difference being the Japanese-style number plate right here. And the uh, boiler top mounted headlight, as well as the pilot. And an SDF logo. Um, if you really wanted to build it, all you had to do is get the headlight up top. Uh, SDF logo, you print one off on a small piece of plastic or just piece of paper or whatever and glue it to the UP shield right here. And to the tender, all you would have to do is get a 001 decal and slap right up there. And I'm pretty sure you can go to any hobby shop, pick up some blank decal numbers, and make it work. I mean, not too hard of a prospect, I assume. Um, I've seen two versions, one here on YouTube, another on DeviantArt, both really good. And if I may be mistaken, I think they are the same person who uploaded them, but very good job there, I must say. But yeah, if you want to build one yourself, by all means, it's doable. Now, to wrap this review up all short and sweet, not really, <laughs> but my final thoughts. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, I did enjoy this build very much. I was actually the most excited I've been to build a kit. I waited a couple of days to get it in the mail before the weekend. Uh, I assembled it in five hours total with uh, glue drying and paint. And I don't really have any complaints whatsoever. I mean, if you're good with kits and you enjoy it, you get satisfaction on the building, I recommend it. Or, in my case, you're looking at a filler locomotive for your layout, uh, collection, display shelf, whatever. By all means, go for it. Um, I had a lot of fun building this, and I'm pretty sure you guys will too. Anyways, we'll wrap this up now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned in the future. I hope to have some more uh, trains, videos, possibly simulator, whatever. And, of course, the layout. So, we're going to have a lot of stuff rolling out here, hopefully. Um, until next time, this is SCL3618, signing off.